for God to dedicate to a great American organization. Then I, I'd like to dedicate this to our boys in the FBI. Well, so wait a minute, it's hard to be an FBI man. I mean, first of all, to be an FBI man, you have to be over 40 years old. And the reason is that it takes at least 25 years with the organization to be that much of a bastard. Uh, well, it's true, you just can't join. You know, kind of, it needs an atmosphere where your natural bastardness can grow and develop and take a meaningful shape in today's complex society. So that's not why I want to dedicate the song to the FBI. I mean, the job that they have to do is a drag. I mean, they have to follow people around. You know, that's part of their job. Follow me around. I'm out on the highway and I'm driving down the road and I run out of gasoline. I pull over to the side of the road. They got to pull over too, make believe that they ran out. <laughs> you know, I go to get some gasoline. They have to figure out whether they should stick with the car or follow me. Suppose I don't come back and they're staying with the car. <laughs> or if I fly on the airplane. I could fly half fare because I'm 12 to 22, and they got to pay the full fare. <laughs> but, well, no, but the thing is that when you pay the full fare, you have to get on the airplane first so that they know how many seats are left over for the half fare kids, right? And sometimes there aren't any seats left over, and sometimes there are, but that doesn't mean that you have to go. <laughs> right? Well, suppose, suppose that he gets on and fills up the last seat. So you can't get on, then he gets off, then you can get on. <laughs> then what's he gonna do? Well, well, it's a drag for him. And that's why tonight, I'd like to dedicate it to every FBI man in the audience. <laughs> so I know you can't say nothing, you know. You can't get up and say, hi, hey, you know, because then everybody knows that you're an FBI man. That's a drag for you and your friends. They're not really your friends, are they? <laughs> I mean, so you can't get up and say nothing because otherwise you got to get sent back to the factory. And that's, that's a drag for you and it's an expense for the government. And that's a drag for you. We're going to sing to you this Christmas, Carol. It's for all you bastards out there in the audience. Right. Called The Paws of Mr. Claus. <laughs> Why do you sit there so strange? Is it because you are beautiful? You must think you are deranged. Why do police guys beat on these guys? What's in the pipe that he's smoking? Mr. Claus is in your outside. He must be a dope fiend to put you uptight. 